Hey, this is Frank from Max Digital, and I wanted to make this video because I see a great opportunity for you to take market share from your top online competitor. This is an absolutely free attack plan that I do to help small businesses. There's no obligation to purchase anything from me. I send these out because some business owners see the value of the information provided, but are just too busy to implement the ideas themselves. However, you are free to take this free attack plan and implement the strategies as you wish. So let's jump right in. So when I Google plumber in Raleigh, North Carolina, this is the search results page that comes up. I think we can all agree that 90% of the people don't ever click to page two when they're shopping for a service. So it's important to have your business popping up on one or more of the three sections of this first page. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition. Aside from paying Google advertising uh, dollars to be in this first section, the first thing that you can do to, is to strengthen your business or your Google business profile so that you can be one of these three or four businesses that Google puts into the second section known as the Google map pack. To be one of the, to be one of the few businesses listed here, in addition to making sure your profile is fully optimized, you will need to look and see how many online directories your competitors are listed in and make sure that you beat them by at least a hundred listings or so. We use an online tool called WhiteSpark that scours the internet and identifies how many directories each business is registered with. There are literally thousands of directories you can register your business with, including yellowpages.com, Yelp, the BBB, and Angie's List. All right, so moving on to the third section now. <clears throat> this is at the bottom of the page known as the organic listings. And you can see once you get past these uh, directory sites like Angie's and Yelp.com, you get down to actual businesses. And Midtown Plumbing here is the number one plumbing site for Raleigh, North Carolina. <clears throat> Google's ranking for this section is purely based on the strength of your website. Google ranks based on both content and backlinks. So the second tip I wanted to mention has to do with content. So here I click over to your site <clears throat> and I can see uh, you got some content in here, you got some pictures, it looks really professional. <clears throat> but I use a tool called SEO Quake that helps me to analyze some of the uh, back-end analytics of each of the websites. So it's, if I scroll down, it will show me that the total number of words here is 708 on your home page. Usually you need at least 1,500 words to be optimized with Google or to be considered an authoritative site. So you guys have almost half of what they would be looking for. The good news is that your competitor, Midtown Plumbing, same thing with their site. Um, also looking at their back end, you could see here, this is Midtown Plumbing. Oops. They also have about 727 words. Uh, so relatively consistent to yours. So it's a good opportunity for you to add content. Um, and have and you know have that more than they do and ultimately potentially beat them because of it but there's a second thing about content that's obviously very important and that is that it needs to be dense with the local buyer intent keywords these are the words people are actually frequently typing into the google search bar the more these keywords are mentioned on your content the more relevant google will see your site to the search phrase so i use another site it's a paid site called Arifs to look at your website here and, and more statistics. And here you can see you're currently ranking for 157 keywords. So if I could click into that, here you can see the keywords that you are currently ranking for. And if I scroll down just a little bit here, you'll see out of these keywords, many of them are, are your name. So somebody would specifically have to be Googling your, your business website and you know, ultimately, if you're trying to expand and get new customers, you, you're going to need to be in a listing that is, you know, it, it's Googling the city and the service that you provide. Because that's, you know, if I was looking for a plumber in North Carolina or in Raleigh, I would say plumber in Raleigh or something like that uh, to see all the plumber sites that come up. So if you contrast your listing with that for Midtown Plumbing, you could see they have the very specific buyer intent keywords. They have the, the location that they're searching for and the service that they're searching for. And you can see that they're ranking second uh, in, in each of these top two, or for each of these top two keyword phrases. 
And then important to look at is the search volume. So this is 1,100 searches per month for plumbing in Raleigh, 250 for plumbing in Raleigh NC, another 700 for plumber Raleigh NC, which they rank third for. <coughs> so building these keyword phrases into your content will uh, dramatically increase your chances of popping up on the first page of Google. And then the last piece of, uh, our last tip I wanted to give you has to do with backlinks. <coughs> backlinks are simply a link from another site over to yours. They act as an endorsement of your site by that other site. These backlinks give power to your site because these endorsements tell Google your site can be trusted. The goal is to have more backlinks than your competitor. But the quality of your backlinks also matter. The more relevant the site that your links come from, the greater strength it lends to your power in Google's rankings. For example, if you had a link from a pizza restaurant site, that would not be as relevant as if you had a link from a plumbing blog site. You can see here that your website has 13 backlinks coming from five unique referring domains. Contrasting that with Midtown Plumbing, they have 733 backlinks from 60 referring domains. So they have significantly more backlinks than you. They, again, that adds power to their site and helps Google recognize them as a trusted site, assuming that these are decent backlinks and that they're, they are coming from industry or, or other, other sites that have trust value with, with Google. So in closing, we discussed your Google business profile, how you want to register your business with as many online directories as possible. We talked about content and how you want to have at least 1,500 words to be considered an expert by Google, as well as targeting the local buyer intent keywords as much as possible within that content. And lastly, we talked about backlinks and how you want to have as many relevant sites pointing to you guys to show Google that you are an authority. And if you implement these strategies, strategies you can be number one across Google in any service you provide in any location you service. So again, you can either take this information and implement the strategies on your own, which I'm totally cool with. However, if you want the most effective route or efficient route and want to save yourself the time, you can reply to my email and we'll set up a time to discuss in more detail. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.